Hi, I'm Nate Gildard. I'm a Google certified trainer, innovator, GEG leader, and GEG mentor in Asia Pacific, Google Earth education expert, and I'm YouTube certified. I'm from Canada, but I'm based in Japan. And in this video, I'll answer the question, how do I personalize my classroom environment, which relates to planning and preparation in classroom. Now by customizing your Google Classroom banner with an image that reflects your subject area, it shows some originality and it helps to differentiate your class from other classes that your students will see. It also helps you as a teacher quickly navigate through your dashboard. Using methods to focus attention on topics, themes, and announcements helps students to stay organized and differentiate between material in your classes and gives them signals as to what kind of content they will engage with. And it's always fun to be playful. So I'll share with you why you should personalize your Google Classroom classes, including how to customize the banner in your classes and how to focus attention on a topic, a theme, or an announcement in your classes. Now, Google Classroom provides uh, themes for your banner, which is this element at the top here. You could simply click on Select Theme and choose the theme that reflects your topic area or your subject or something you're studying right now. Um, think about what can visually represent your classes and be appealing to your students. So what I might like to do is actually upload a photo, such as this one that I've uh, downloaded from a Google search and is copyright free. So that reflects my class a little bit more and it looks kind of nice. So if you're really keen, you might want to think about designing your own Google Classroom banner uh, using Google Drawings and Google Slides. Uh, there are plenty of templates out there on the internet, um, but you would just want to use the dimensions of 1000 by 250 pixels and also keep uh, design principles in mind, things like color schemes and layout uh, and, and text alignment. Now, if you need some ideas, think about this. For example, I've put the unit title uh, that we're studying here uh, within the classroom banner to focus attention on the topic every time students open up this particular class. Maybe have your students design uh, you know, a new banner every couple of weeks and give them agency over your classroom class's uh, digital environment. Um, maybe have students create uh, their own Bitmojis and then create one big classroom Bitmoji uh, with all your students represented with their Bitmoji. Uh, once you've decided on your banner image, then you just have to download it to your desktop and simply upload it by clicking Upload Photo. Another great way to personalize your classroom is to personalize your posts in the stream or your topics, uh, themes, announcements, that kind of thing by using emojis. So for example, uh, with my homework topic, you can see I've got the pencil and the paper. And for the reflections topic, I've got a little thought bubble. And in my topic for discussions, I've got a little discussion emoji. Now, take the stream for example. Let's say you want to announce some, you know, something to your class. Like, hey, think about this. Maybe right click, choose emojis and symbols, and then add an emoji that kind of reflects what you'd like students to do. In this case, to think. And so that just kind of personalizes your comments a bit. Let's say I want to uh, give a comment back to a student. Hey, great idea. Why not use an emoji to give that positive reinforcement? Like high fives, thumbs up, and that kind of thing. It just adds a more personal feel uh, and, and character to your classroom. Maybe use question marks or the brain or thought bubbles, clapping and that kind of thing. Keep it positive. Now we know how to customize a Google Classroom banner and how to draw attention to a topic theme or an announcement by stylizing your classes in a way that differentiates and organizes material. Thank you.